So in this video, I wanted to run through two different popular lines of mechanical pencils and compare the two. If you're buying a mechanical pencil, you're probably gonna be choosing between one of these two. Uh, so I thought this would be helpful. First up, we have the Uni Kuratoga. I have that in two models, the standard model, which sells for about five or $6, and the Advance, which sells for about, I don't know, $8. And then I have the Zebra Delgard. And uh, one of the big choices in mechanical pencils, at least under $10 in pencils from Japan, stuff like that, is should I buy the Kuratoga or the Delgard? Uh, first of all, let's go through the Kuratoga line. Why would you buy one of these? And the reason you buy one of these is because they stay sharp. Uh, and what that means is that the tip, or I guess maybe they stay level would be more accurate. Basically, as you write, you press down to do each of your little pencil strokes. As that happens, this pencil will actually rotate the lead so that you never are writing with a chisel point. It's always rotating it so the point of your lead is as flat as possible. That will prevent breakage, but more than that, it'll keep your lines very consistent. And just think, you're, as you're writing, you're inherently writing off to an angle some to some degree. And as you write and you press down with all your letters, this is twisting, 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 twisting. You could see this part twisting. As you're twisting, the lead is rotating and the piece of lead is staying relatively flat. That'll keep your lines consistent and prevent breakage. But the main draw is that it's keeping your lines consistent. The Delgard has a similarly complex, similarly complex lead mechanism. In this case, they call it the dual spring mechanism. Uh, and you know, anti-clog, like your lead doesn't clog and other cool features. But the main thing with the Delgard is to prevent breakage. And it does that by having this extended tip here. So you're actually keeping the length of the lead from this point to the paper as short as possible, which means it is uh, that much stronger, which is less leverage on the piece of the lead. And you could write with just one, two, or three clicks, and you should get no breakage at either of those, at any of those. The uh, Zebra, the Delgard also has a spring mechanism, but instead of rotating the ink, what it does is it just cushions. And you can see, this one's a little harder to see, but it will cushion as you write. It requires more pressure to activate than the Kuratoga, but it is just cushioning as you write. So basically, and this is the No rotation, but see if you can make this out. Here it is, no weight. Here it is, full weight. And it's a little hard to see up front, so let me see if I can get something tough and push it against it because it's a little bit unpleasant to jam your finger against a sharp piece of lead. So you could see the second spring, the upper spring activating at that point. And this pressure, instead of, think about this pressure coming at an angle, instead of breaking the lead, it's just pushing the lead back into the housing, preventing it from breaking. Uh, it may not seem like it's uh, you know rocket science to get that going, but I can tell you it is definitely a worthwhile feature and it does the job. Ow. So uh, the rest of the features on these pens are fairly similar and they'll come down to just the, the aesthetics. You know, uh, do you like the Zebra brand? Do you like the Uni brand? Do you want a plastic clip? Do you like the, uh, I think they have a slightly larger eraser on the Zebras, like all that stuff is pretty minimal. They all have plastic bodies and they all have some sort of cool action going on up here. I think uh, Unis is a little bit better, but that's just me. Most of them can open, 
but there isn't any reason you'd open except you if you want to inspect the mechanism. I guess you could take it. I don't think you could take it out. It's really just to inspect the mechanism. Like, hey, look at all those springs. Someone put a lot of thought into this. Nice work. And they are all well made. And uh, I like the advance personally. If I were to uh, buy more of these, or if I were not to have one, I was doing my research. Uh, the Kurotoga, the Santa Kurotoga, I think is the best looking of the bunch. I just think this pen is very pencil is very classy looking and cool. And you can see you could hide the little extension point on these, which is I think a nice feature. The uh, the zebra cannot do that; it stays out. So the uh, I think the Uniball has that advantage. If you want to throw these in your pocket, you could just hide it. That's very cool. Uh, the Kurotoga has this little rubber edge here, which I think is I don't know why it's there, uh, except for being able to remove the tip more easily. But I don't know; it just strikes me as being very cool. And then I like that you could as you use it. Uh, you can see the barrel spinning, just like seems very, very interesting to me. The Advance is uh, functionally the better of the two uh, Kurotogas because what happens is the barrel on the Advance, you can see there's two arrows there. It spins at 2x the speed of the Kurotoga. So uh, the rotating action on the lead is happening that much more effectively. I don't know that 2x is that much better, but you know, I think the thinking here is if 1x is good, then 2x is better, uh, and it probably is, but functionally, it's not usually different. Uh, the main point is that lead is rotating with some frequency, and your tip is staying consistent. The, uh, the Delgard, again, it has that push mechanism that prevents breakage, uh, so if you're someone that breaks a lot of pencil leads, or if you like, you need a 0.3 millimeter, then the Delgard is probably something they consider. But I don't like it as much. I feel like sometimes it feels spongy when I'm writing. I'm not getting, uh, you know, I get a little bit of sponginess from that spring. But usually if it feels spongy, it's because you're pushing too hard. There is a firmer click on the Delgard. I think a little bit too firm. Uh, so keep that in mind. I think the the Uni just has a nicer feel. The Kurotoga is definitely more of a pen-like feel to it. Uh, but yeah, that is the main difference between the Kurotoga and the Delgard mechanisms. Thanks for watching.